What campers are making the news for the 2023 overlanding season? What new models will be sheltering us from the elements and help us overcome off-road obstacles? Well, stay tuned to Must See Tech and you will see the latest RVs and caravan trailer announcements. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and enjoy the ride! Antishanti RTD One might confuse this contraption with a standard rooftop tent, but Antishanti classified it as a rooftop dwelling, which is what the RTD acronym stands for. The aircraft-grade aluminum hard shell box can be used to carry 28 cubic feet of cargo. When at camp, in 60 seconds it will turn into a hard-sided shelter with 4 feet headroom. The resulting rooftop house is fully insulated for four-season camping for two travelers who will sleep on a full-size bed. Due to the rigid construction, you can lock up your gear inside the N2 Shanty RTD when in the house mode. Additionally, this rig has T-slot mounting points for bolt-on accessories. Twenty Seven North Ascenter Expedition Truck. The division of ultra luxury, extremely expensive expedition trucks is adding a new member: the Ford F550 based Ascenter from Twenty Seven North. This flatbed occupies the entire space behind the truck's cabin and features a cab over. Its single floor plan is designed to provide the campers with full amenities and comfort features after they're done enjoying the great outdoors. The truck bed accommodates a huge lounge area, a wet bath, a king-size bed, and a side kitchen that packs a two-burner induction cooktop, a full-size fridge, and an aluminum backsplash. The interior environment is managed through an iPad-based control system, and it is made comfortable by the camper's standard air conditioning, hydronic heating, and vacuum cleaning. Off-the-grid readiness is ensured by the truck's toughened-up underpinnings, 22-inch military-grade tires, a 110-gallon tank for fresh water, and a 1200-watt solar. Hobby Maxia Van The German manufacturer is diversifying its camper van portfolio with a large camper based on the VW Crafter with an extended wheelbase. The Maxia Van 680ET is powered by the 2-liter TDI 177-horsepower diesel engine with an 8-speed automatic gearbox. The single interior has three berths, two of which can be combined into a large double bed. The cabin is finished in the Scandinavian style, and the majority of interior components were built using high-end natural materials. The breathable and sound-absorbing grey felt covers the ceiling and side walls, creating a cocoon effect and nording well-being. The standard equipment of this Maxia includes a 90-liter domatic fridge, rotating Thetford toilet, 100-liter fresh and wastewater tanks, Truma Combi 6 heater with a 10-liter hot water preparation, and a Hobby Connect control board. Stick around with us till the end of this video and smash the like button. We greatly appreciate your feedback. Let's proceed. Bushwaka Camelback The South African Bushwaka has been mostly known for their off-road 4x4 adventure trailers, but this year they're releasing a camper conversion for those who prefer to downscale from caravanning. The Camelback has a full aluminum construction and looks like a simple box on the outside, but once opened up, its capabilities are expanded with an awning, a shower cubicle, a pop-up 360-view nest, storage units, and a kitchen area. The camping quarters house a queen-size bed with a large underbed storage compartment and three lockable clothes cupboards. The pull-out bush kitchen unit features all of the necessary utensils, cutlery, and pans. The slide-out fridge freezer combo has 90 liters volume and a work surface. The Bushwaka Camelback is pre-equipped with a hot water system and a lithium battery solar for the off-grid adventures. Pestle e Vanster Previously offered as a diesel-powered van based on the Citroën Space Tour or Peugeot Traveler, the Venster is becoming all-electric. Motivated by tandem of a single electric motor and a 75kWh battery from eSpace Tour, the camper offers 185 miles of travel. It comes standard with a lightweight sleeper package, which means a pop-up proof with a bed, swivel seats, three-seat second-row bench, fold-out shelving, 
and an induction cooktop. Optionally, you can install a third row to increase seating capacity from 5 to 8. To make the events tour more adventure-oriented, the company offers two extra packages. A versatile cam box kitchen that can be used both inside and outside, or a kitchen and sleeping module which adds a second bed over the seats. Weinsberg Excursion Van Based on the 6.1 version of the VW Transporter, the new excursion van by the German Weinsberg takes the idea of the VW California to a new level. The model gets new beefed-up bodywork that allows to increase interior space and squeeze in more features. Customers can choose between two multifunctional floor plans, 500MQ and 500LT. The former offers a large transverse bed, flex bathroom with a full-height shower and rear garage, while the latter moves the entry door to the rear, making room for a huge six-person dinette area. A well-equipped kitchen is standard. Optionally, both of these vans can be fitted with an easy-to-move bed, bumping up the sleeping capacity to four people. Governor Salute caravans understand clearly that a fully packed 22-foot-long caravan must possess proper underpinnings for a real outdoor adventure. The Governor gets independent tough right airbag suspension featuring twin shockers and coil springs on both axles. It also rides on 17-inch wheels with the all-train Maxxis Mozilla tires. Add to the latter 12-inch electric brakes, full undercarriage protection, aluminum checker plating all around, electronic stability sway control from Tucson and a rear vision camera. On the inside, the Governor is comparable to large RVs with ample open space and sweet bathroom separated from the living zone by sliding door, shower and toilet, and a rear lounge area with a U-shaped sofa and a pop-up table. The trailer arrives with the onboard power management system that brings full control over two 170-watt solar panels and two 120-ampere-h AGM batteries included as standard. The Amster Van as its name suggests, the Scamper is the creation of the Amsterdam-based startup in cooperation with the Campers EU. Fully handcrafted in-house, the model is built on the Renault traffic underpinnings and is available with four engine options. The layout of the Amster van is reimagined and it benefits from the direct involvement of the company's founders, a professional designer and a furniture maker. You get a side kitchen positioned behind the passenger seat and a dinette behind the driver's one. The latter turns into two relaxing sofas or a full-size bed. The kitchen unit includes an induction cooktop and a 50-liter fridge with an integrated freezer. The roof pops up to make room for a second bed, and you can option the van with an outside shower, a porta potty, and an off-grid package. Hiker Trailer EOR The Extreme Off-Road is the most capable caravan option offered by Hiker Trailer, which can follow you anywhere where your vehicle can reach. It comes with a derated 3,500-pound straight axle with leaf springs and shocks, huge 17-inch aluminum alloy rims wrapped into 33-inch tires, integrated brush guards, a toolbox, and several frame-integrated storage racks. Each trailer is built per the customer's specifications but the base version already includes a rear galley with two shelves, vinyl floors, interior lighting, two side windows with screens, and a couple of power outlets. For those who want to save time and money, Hiker offers three packages, Plus, Pro, and Elite. The latter boasts the off-grid and comfort features and are cheaper compared to the custom design. We do hope that you like the news and will not hate the messenger. So smash the like button and let's discuss the lineup in the comments below. 
more informative Mastitech videos are waiting for you on the screen. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and remember to stand with Ukraine. We'll see you.